Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection, technology gain times 5, 7, and 8. This right here is my Supreme 7 Ultra Short Throw Short Throw and Laser Projection Screen Paint. And as you can see, the projector is different. Um, the last one I had in here was an Epson 480, which was an ultra short throw projector. Uh, this is a projector I bought yesterday, but didn't get a chance to post it. I actually posted it up over on Facebook Live. So this right here is my Panasonic short throw projector. This is the TW2550. This is a WXGA projector at around 2800 lumens, and it is around, yeah, of course, around 720p, because the majority of most of my projectors I use here are 720p. So, I ordered something really interesting. I had two projectors coming in, and there's a project I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be showing that off pretty soon, but I want to talk about this projector right now. So, this is uh, the Panasonic projector I picked up off of eBay. Very good price. Let me show you the back of it really quick. So, it has, I'm using the H, I'm using the uh, um, VGA because I have it running through my computer over here. My computer's sitting back over there. Well, you can see down there is my computer, and I have my Xbox, old Xbox original up there because I still have games on there I play. Um, I have this HDMI ports on the back of it, everything needed to get the ball running. And let me show you the front of it. So you see the front of it right there, uh, very bright right there. There you can see the front of it right there. So I, like I said, I got this about I got it yesterday, and I uh, got it for a very good price. I'm probably going to be buying a couple more. We may be doing an ultra short throw kit because I want to do an ultra short short throw kit. Uh, for our customers. A few people were asking me about that. And also too, picked up some new toys for the gaming room. The gaming slash office. Let me see if I can get my light on over here. Real quick. There we go. So there I picked up this little doohickey right here and that one right over there and uh, oh yeah, this one right here, the Ant-Man. So I picked up a few things from my office slash gaming room. I tell you right now, GameStop is my freaking kryptonite. It is. Every time I go in there, I have to pick up something for the gaming room slash office. It's getting a little crowded in here, but like I said, better here than have it littered all downstairs, and that's what I don't want. I want to keep my gaming room and my office in one place and keep my living room and dining room and kitchen in another place in the workplace. I try to keep that all um, separated because I don't want my living room looking like a GameStop. So anyway, yeah, I got to... Hopefully, looking on getting another house, uh, buying a house, so I can have a much bigger area to start displaying my toys because I'm really running out of space in here. I think I'm going to have to start. My friends are laughing at me saying, you know, sooner or later you're going to have to start sticking stuff to the ceiling. And I got, I am good. Yeah, so I'm to start sticking stuff to the ceiling because I'm running out of room in this place. But anyway, yeah, so as you can see, this stuff looks absolutely amazing. Fully lit environment. And keep in mind, this is my office, so. I have to be able to see my paperwork and the assignments and things that I'm working on and I have to be able to do this in a fully lit environment and like I said any projector you see me take and put in my environment it's well lit environment you see it actually looks it actually looks absolutely incredible and this is just with the ambient light I have in the environment right now and this is if I just keep the ambient light turn the light, ambient light off but usually in my environment this, this is about most of my light I have in here but I do keep my overhead light on from time to time if I'm working on a few things. So, okay, so I'm just showing you the new short throw projector. Um, I'll do some more demonstrations on this projector. But right now, I just want to, um, my weights. Right now, I just want to, um, I want to um, just show you off the hand what I ordered and what I got. And like I said, amazing, amazing projector. I freaking love it. Um, I'm trying to see if the merchant has some more of them because I do plan to buy uh, two more. Uh, from there. All right, so let's go downstairs. I gotta open up my toys too. I haven't had a chance to open anything up. All right, so let's go downstairs real quick. And I want to talk about a few things. We're going to go into the shop real quick. So two things I want to talk about, and that's my 146. I'm going to change in that because that's a um, superior using the Ambulate Rejection Technology in times four. I'm going to be changing that probably today or tomorrow into a Supreme Seven. So that is next. That's my next project. That's my screen right there. Now let's go downstairs. See? And keep my living room without any toys down here. Only thing I think I have downstairs is my PS4. Alright, so let's plot downstairs to the workshop. It's trash day. Yeah, it's trash day. I got a ton of trash to dump out. So 
These are orders I got going out right now. I can't share the shipping labels or attached to that. And these are some of the projectors I have that I work with every day. Uh, that's my Ultra Short Throw Epson, Epson 460. And then over here I have another Ultra Short Throw, which is an Epson 480. Then I have a Hitachi, if I said that right. That's a Short Throw. Uh, that's an Epson 4200 lumens. That's a Mitsubishi at 4000 lumens. This projector is a bad boy right here. This, everything on this projector is auto. Everything on this projector is auto. Everything. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> so getting over this cold. Everything. Focus. Keystone. Everything is all automatic on that on that projector. That's insane. I might be the bulb on here is not that low, but I'm gonna get a new bulb for this one. This is my one I like to use. This is my um, NEC 1150. Uh, that's 3700 lumens. Over here, yes, it's my. It's one of the projectors I use in the demonstration on the wallpaper screen. This is my Sony projector, my VPL one X one thousand. This projector is like really, really old. Then we got another NEC over here, twenty six hundred lumens. My Casio Lamfrey projector, twenty five hundred lumens. This is a DLP projector that's actually laser and LED. So I do just want to do a lot of demonstrations that need laser. But I got two Sony projectors coming in very soon. Oh, wait to see what these bad boys can do. All right, so. Showing you what the product looks like when it's shipped to you. So yeah, all our products have seals on them. As you can see, there's a seal going all the way around this one. If you can see it's not, but there's a seal going all the way around. It's cup to the bottom to the top to make sure these suckers don't open up on entry. And then we have another seal at the bottom right there. That's a bottom seal that we put right there to make sure they don't go anywhere. All right, so that's how they're sealed up. And ready to go for shipping. There's another one right there. These are customers that are going out. Now, this is what I want to talk about. This is one I actually got to put the label on this one. Get this ready. This is, we brought the blackout cloth back. It's the customer ordered a one gallon kit. This is his right here. So keep in mind, if you order a one gallon kit, the blackout cloth that will come with that is massive. Look at the size of this. Blackout cloth is 10 feet by 20 feet. 10 feet by 20 feet, you can paint up to a 200 inch screen 69 16 10 235.1 with the two quarts we're going we have a screen size that is seven feet by ten feet and then if you get the one quart we have a screen size that i think is six by nine i think that's the size of a six by nine that comes with that one so just give you more updates wallpaper screens that's the customer's wallpaper screen that came and i got six more of these coming in today we're going to be coding today turn into these massive beautiful screens and over here we have my motorized projection screen this motorized projection screen is coated with a supreme seven i wonder if i got a power cord laying around here somewhere give me one minute i'm gonna roll this thing down for a minute by my power cord okay we got one here as an adapter already attached to it so we can roll this bad boy down I like to leave them I like to leave them um, oh it's already had the cord already in it okay cool I like to leave them uh, rolled up for a while so that way I can unroll them just to show my customers that are going to be painting their pre-existing white screens because they want to convert them into something convert them to it a better high grade screen and I usually leave these rolled up for a while and then I unroll them just to show you that you can have them rolled up. And my basement, keep in mind, has a bit, it's cool, but it has a bit of temperature to it from time to time. It does get a little warm in here. And this just shows you that even if you have your screen rolled up for a while and you decide that you want to unroll it, you don't have to worry about the screen sticking to the, uh, sticking, it, sticking to itself. There we go. You don't have to worry about the screen sticking to itself. See right here? Bring it. Bring it all the way down so you can see that this doesn't stick at all. This is what I love about this technology. You go out, I paid $68 for this screen. This is a 92 inch 16 9 screen. I paid about 92, I'm sorry, $68 for it, and that's including shipping. And it was a white screen, and I converted it into our technology you can see there's a difference between the color shade of black that we have I said like I said the Supreme 7 has a very interesting coating uh, the reason why it was designed this way is because when you pour this stuff out it has a very interesting color to it and same thing when it comes to 
uh, the ultra short through screen paint and this keeps the product from being mimic or somebody doing a false demonstration with it by saying it's black paint it has a very interesting color to it but it is black and as you can see this is the black border and this is the paint itself and as you can see there's no cracks no, no wrinkles nothing and the screen it's not peel or anything and this stuff is fantastic if you want to convert your motorized projection screen into a high performance ambient light screen and also to keep in mind this stuff can be used outside at the bottom of the comments section please check it out I will be putting several demonstrations on the motorized screen first of all first one how I painted it uh, the final results and then I will show a demonstration of me using the screen outside on my porch my neighbors had a ball with that one so I'll show you a couple of demonstrations on that right there if you're curious how to use our technology to paint your screen there you go all right got to get out of here real quick i got much work to do today these are the inflatable screens going out now if you're curious sorry sorry if you have not seen the inflatable screens on the website i'll put this back before i lose this uh on the website we haven't had a chance to um put them out there yet but um, if you are interested in getting yourself, getting your hands on a um, one of our inflatable screens, uh, please send me an email. Um, we can send you a PayPal invoice where you can order that black uh, inflatable screen by Supreme 8. All right, thank you for your time. I have to get out of here and God bless.